Welcome back to EA Sports, everybody. I'm James Sabolski, where we are in Denver, Colorado tonight. The Mile High City and the Avalanche are ready to bury the opposition. And we are about set to drop the puck tonight. The Leafs take possession here on the opening draw, and we are underway. Fires it on net, and it's in the back of the net. Wow, this was quick. Hard to believe the game can change so quickly. An early score, and it is something that nobody quite expected. This makes the coaches look smart every time. They depend on him for offense, and he delivers James time and time again. The Leafs quickly strike first here. They lead 1-0. Always talk about getting the jump on the road, but I don't think anybody really thinks it's going to be this quick. And play resumes as the puck is dropped. Oh, what a chance, and it goes sideways. Players tell us all the time that they don't know where the next milestone is. That's garbage. They know when they're one goal away from a plateau. I think he's looking for it here. Puck sent down the ice. We'll get an icing. Don't forget the team store, always accessible online 24-7. Uh, you can also check out the team store in the arena as well. Open seven days a week. Matthews wins the draw. They'll look to set up here offensively. They've got a tired group against them. That win sets up an offensive play. Here's a short pass to McKinnon. The Leafs grab possession to the puck. Pushes it across to Riley. Right up the gut into the offensive end. Quick pass to McKinnon. Here's a chance on the attack. Centering feed. And he denies that great opportunity there. Can't get a hold of that pass. Grabbed along the boards by Riley. And he takes the feed. Here we go. It's a two on one. Takes the shot. Denies him. He gets a half a step on that defenseman, James, and he is going straight to the net. He gets there fast, and he makes the goalie have to be sharp. And now he moves it quickly to Gerard. Takes the feet at the back end. The lane was plugged up, and that shot's blocked. The Avs get a hold of the puck along the boards. Moves it to Gerard. Grabs it in his own end. Little short break and it's in the net. Inching closer to the midway mark of this period. We got a tie game. Chiru's one possession. Driving right to the front. Colorado's got a hold of it against the wall. Sandwiched into the wall. That's really well played by the defensive player. He took away the angle, forced him into a spot, and then laid the hit. Toronto's got it in their own zone. Quick feed to Byram. And that's broken up. Maintains possession. Oh, and that's poked away in the offensive zone by Bergeron. The Avs will play it from the defensive zone. Takes it from the right side. Toronto's got the puck. Here they come up along the wing. Hangs onto the puck. On the backhand! Scores! An absolute clutch finish puts him ahead. It's felt like there was going to be a go-ahead goal pretty quickly here. There it is. That's a nice finish. And it's on the board. This is a really good shot, but the goaltender waves at it. Doesn't get the glove on it, and it goes in. The Leafs are up by one here in the first. Nice to get a leg up here in the game, but there's still lots to go. The Avs get a hold of the puck off the draw. Goes around along the half wall. Takes a shot. Oh, that's got to hurt. What a play. And that one's turned away. Once he drops into that butterfly, he's pretty confident he's got most of the net covered. He slides across to make the save. The Avalanche have gained control of the puck along the wall. 
Comfer's got it along the wing. They score! They tie it up! Oh, they've been working hard to get this game back to level, and that goal will do it. We haven't even hit the midway mark of the period. We are all tied up in this one. The Avs win the faceoff. On the attack along the boards. Toronto's got the puck in their own end. Poked away yet centered by Manson. Both sides digging in for that puck along the wall. Skates to the crease. Looks to save with the foot. Moves it quickly over to Carlson. Right in front. And a huge stop by the goaltender at point blank range. And that's blocked from someone in front. And a solid stop on the play there. Hall swooping in on the attack. The Avalanche have the puck in their own end. Here's a short pass to Rantanen. All alone. And he makes the save. Picked up along the boards by Landeskog. Here he is showing in front. Dismissed that chance. Riley's moving the puck through his own zone. Through center along the wing. Toronto's gained possession along the boards. Spectacular stop by the goaltender. How did he hang on to that? Scores! You say your first impression should be a lasting one. What a start in his rookie year. That's 30 goals. Is this our rookie of the year we're watching? He's way out in front of the pass. James, I think the, the quickness of the delivery of the puck is more important than the placement when you're in this tight. You're just trying to open up a hole for the goaltender. The Leafs get a leg up here by one. Plenty of time left here, but you still have to be happy that you're in the lead. Colorado's won the draw in the neutral zone. They got a pair on a two. And here's the pass to Johns. Slides the puck across to Latang. Nice pass. Centering B. He scores! What an opportunity and delivers! Past the midway mark of the frame, James and Ray with you tonight. You can feel the energy in this crowd. It's a tie game. The Leafs win it. Taken by Latang. Colorado's got the puck along the wall. Here they come through center and into the offensive end. Oh, what a save in front. But he came out and challenged a good save. Puck exits the zone. Oh, look at this. Breakaway. Huge. Oh, you don't get many of these. He's right in on goal, but the goalie's better. The Avalanche have taken possession along the wall. Pass right back. And a good solid hit on that play. Takes the puck into the corner of the offensive end. Manages to hit on. The Leafs gain control of the puck against the wall. Nice zone entry from the right side. And he makes a save there. Takes the pass. The Avs will play it against the wall. Oh, that's a rattler. Did you hear those boards rattle? Scores! Big time goal puts him in front. When a player gets the puck up his stick, you can tell in a big moment who's confident. It ends up in the net more often than not. Nearing the final 60 seconds here this first period. The Avs take possession of the neutral zone. Here we go, pucks in deep. Toronto's got a hold of it along the wall. Centering key. What a chance, but they can't connect. Quick pass to Bergeron. Into the offensive end now. Here's the shot. Just slide to the net.
with the buzzer. That puts the bow on the first 20 minutes of play. We've got lots more still to come. Second period action next, right here. Along with Ray Ferraro between the benches, I'm James Cebulski. Period number two is about to get underway. Puck is dropped on the second stanza. Let's see if that action carries over from the first. Well, this one underway. Ray, give us an update on what your assessment is to this point. Toronto's players and coaches weren't very happy after that first period. They all knew that the puck got turned over way too often. Made it way too easy for the opponent. They also know they're pretty fortunate to be in this game still. The Leafs move the puck in the defensive zone. Toronto's got it along the wall. Tries to the crease. How did he stop that one? He's been really good on these high danger chances. And here's another one right from the slot. He's got a step. Oh, what a stop. Oh, goaltender looks so sure as he made that stop on the breakaway. Where you just keep working away, your lines roll over and over and over, you hope to build a little momentum. One shot, ties the game, and now it's a whole new ball game. And we are all evened up here. Plenty of time left in this frame. It's all tied up. Face off here in the neutral zone, and we are back underway. And he takes the dish. Just wide. Toronto's got the puck. The Avs gain possession of the puck here in the offensive end. Can't make the connection on the pass. Moves it to Johns. Oh, excellent use of the stick as he knocks that one away. And a strong physical collision on the play there. Toronto's got the puck against the half wall. Settles things down and gets control of it once again. He was totally locked in on that play. Oh, he reads the play really well to get out and aggressive to make that save. Makes him move up front. Oh, sorry, James. They jumped in there, but that was a huge hit as the play just rambles on. The Avs get a hold of the puck. Oh, and that's got the crowd bussing after that stop. Sometimes you're in close, there's no room to put it anywhere. The goalie smothered it all. And that's turned aside. Here he is from the slot. Denies him in close. The goalie had to be sharp there, James. That's a top-notch chance right in the middle of the ice. Riley's certainly in a confident state here. His point streak's extending, and he wants to keep it going. Puck is dropped, and we are back underway. Colorado's got it in their own zone. Ahead of steam now towards the front. Quick feed to Landeskog. Sends the pass in front, and that doesn't go as it's off a stick. Poked away in the neutral zone by Gerard. Picked up along the wall by Rantanen. Moves it quickly over to Johns. Toronto's got the puck against the boards. No room for that one to get through. Drives to the sweet spot. And now it's grabbed by Gerard. Here's a short pass to McCall. And he makes a save on that play. We see goaltenders in this butterfly practicing it every day. Positioning, keeping their arms tight, making sure that they stay in the center of the puck. All sorts of pressure here in the offensive end. They've really turned it up a notch now. Here's a chance. Frank Cruz gets on top of the puck. And we'll get a whistle. Everybody on the ice is gassed. He's probably gassed, too. Now you can get a drink of water and reset. Past the midway mark of the frame, the next goal could be a big one as we are tied. Colorado's got it in the defensive zone. The Leafs gain possession along the wall. Great use of the stick at center by Thornton. 
Quick pass to Comfort. And he sacrifices his body to block the shot. The Leafs cross the blue line and are on the attack. Quick shot! Gets a stick on it to make the save! Colorado's got it against the boards. Almost lost the puck, but hangs on here as play continues. Toronto's moving it up the ice. Oh, he'd like to have that pass back. That's a really good save. I think the goalie's probably surprised he was dead center and open to shoot that puck. Puck grabbed by Gostas Bear. Oh, and he tracks it perfectly in the offensive end. And just gets a piece of that one to keep it out. He tracks this puck perfectly to get himself into position for this save. This is not an easy one. Right from the middle of the ice. Toronto's got the puck along the boards. Look at the Savardian spin around. From his own end, he picks up the puck. Off the wall and right to the stick. Nice play. From the left side, it goes to the middle of the ice. Colorado's got the puck along the wall. Moves it to Nightfish. The Leafs will play it in their own end. Cuts to the paint. That's not going to fool him. Really good positioning as he makes the stop from in tight. Now he takes it over the line, sends it across, and that pass doesn't go. Moves the puck. Right up the gut into the attacking zone. And the puck skips away after that move. I know what he's trying to do, get into space to shoot it, but now you got to chase because you've turned it over. Chance in front! Nice save from point blank range. I like the way he tracks the puck here. He's got to find it, and then he gets his body right in front of it. That's a good save. Grabs control of it at the point. Poked away at center by Rantanen. Break away, and he makes the save. Scooped up along the wall by Fowler, and he moves it up to Hall. All alone! Oh, he didn't have enough gas to get the shot off. Really good work by the defender to close the gap. And then he moves it to O'Connor. Shot! With the stop. Here's a chance behind the net. Quick shot! Big save by the goaltender once again. You never want to leave the rebound, but if you do, you got to clean up your own mess. One save, two saves, and that thing's out of danger. Well, with two goals already on the night, it's fair to say he's looked anything but a rookie. I look really confident. I like the way he's played, not just the goals, James, but he does have two, and that puts him in line for a possible first career hat trick. Quick feed to Kessel. And with that, two periods now in the books. Been a great night of hockey here on EA Sports, and we got the third period coming at you in moments. Welcome back to EA Sports. The final frame looms here as the officials set to drop the puck on period number three. Puck is dropped on the third, and if you love offense, well, stick around for this one. The Avs gain control of the puck. Musa quickly over to Makar. Here's a short pass to McKinnon. Pass save, and he makes it look easy. McKinnon's never going to quit on a play, and we saw that in that last chance, Gene. He stumbled. It looked like the... Scores! And there's the hat trick, and the silence this crowd on the road. Yeah, and that feels good when you can zip up the home team's arena. Great feeling. Three goals will do it. That's a scorer's goal right there. That puck is on and off his stick in a hurry. He's so tight to the net, he has to get rid of it before the goalie can readjust. Toronto's got the one goal lead here in the third. Like lots about the way that they've played, this goal is well earned and now they have a chance to win this game. Matthews wins the draw inside the neutral zone. The Avalanche scores! Nathan McKinnon! Still early on in this frame, James and Ray with you. So glad you could join us. We got a tie game. Puck is dropped, and we are 
back underway. Toronto's got control of it now from their own end. Poked away in the defensive end. Quick pass to McKinnon. Slides the puck over. Moves it to Rantanen. Oh, what a stop as he uses his paddle to swat it away. He reads the play to get across in the butterfly, but you still have to be agile because that puck can change directions on you. Poked away in the neutral zone by Matthews. Takes it to the front. Oh, and I'm sure they'd like to read you on that. Now, lots of work and nothing for it as they don't get the puck on goal. Heads to the back of the net. What a stop. Yeah, that's a race to the post. The goalie wins it there, gets the pad flat to make the save. Grabs the puck and looks to make something happen. Chris is going to hang on for a whistle here in the third. Well, there's not much time left here as you get into the final 20 minutes. The game's close. A mistake now would be critical. Chris has got great mobility, even when he's down in the butterfly position, guys. He can track and react to the play as needed while covering most of the net, and that's his butterfly effect zone ability. Toronto's on the attack. Tries to dangle, and the puck skips away. He tries that extra move. I mean, sometimes it's okay. Sometimes you've got to just push the puck a little deeper. Now he's got a chance. Takes it to the net. Frank Cruz is going to wait for a breather as he swallows up the puck. Well, now everybody can get themselves back to their square one position. I mean, it was starting to look a little ragged in the defensive zone. It's a good play by the goaltender. The Leafs win it. And the shot dies in the traffic jam. There's the whistle as the puck goes out of play. Nearing the midway mark of the period. We are all tied up in this one. They take possession as he locks them up off the faceoff. Tries to make that cross ice speed. The Leafs get a hold of the puck along the boards. Pokes it away in his own end. Colorado's looking to break out. It's a chance on the rush. Two on one. Fantastic save. That's an impressive save, James, because at one point, the goalie totally loses where the puck is, but he stays calm, finds it again, and then makes the save. And he was right there to make the stop on that play. Quick feed to Lekanen. And how big is that one? Once the opportunity presents itself, you've got to be decisive, quick, deliver the puck before the goalie can react. All done, and it's in the cage. won the draw. Feeds the puck to O'Connor. It's a 3 on one Three shot. Big save in front. Yeah, he's a sharp save, James. Right in the middle of the ice, he makes the stop and pushes it away. Passes it over to Nightfish. Centering pass. Oh, and he comes up with a stop. Again, the denial by the goaltender. Tremendous intensity here in the offensive zone. And they'll skate it out of the zone. Slides the pass over to O'Connor. There's a solid collision. Takes the feed. The Leafs move it in. Cutting to the slot. Stopped by the goaltender. Excellent chance. They work the puck into position, and it's a scoring chance. It's turned away. Pass broken up. And they continue to fight for that puck along the wall. The Avs have it behind the cage. Slides it to Manson. Moves it quickly over to Byron. And look at this, it's a parry on the wall. They say three is the magic number. Certainly is for them. Well, you can't get on the ice fast enough when your team starts to score like this. This is an onslaught. And it looks like they've got no way to stop it. Looks like lineups are set and they're ready to get things back underway. On the shot, the play resumes. Takes the pass from the left wing. Toronto's looking to break out of their own end. A chance in front, and that goes off a stick. And he takes a shot, and he's got that one. Nice feed from the goaltender. 
And it's broken up by a nice defensive use of the stick. Kessels crossed the line and gained the zone. Here he is with the backhander. Turn that chance aside. Frank Cruz looks exhausted in the net after that stop. In a lot of cases, when you struggle, as he has tonight, it is such a drain on your focus. He's just trying to get through to the end of the night. The Avalanche have it now. And the goaltender comes up with a piece of it to keep it out of the net. Puts it on net. Plus saved by the goalie. Takes the feed from the goaltender. Riley's taking it from his own end. Colorado's got the puck inside the defensive zone. The Leafs get a hold of it. We've seen just about every type of goal so far tonight. And we're not finished yet, James. This has no look of a game that's going to get locked down anytime soon. Colorado's got a hold of it against the wall. Misses wide of the net. Just misses the net, but really the scoring chance is not dangerous if you can't get the puck at the goaltender. The Avalanche have it in their own zone. Slides the puck over to Nichuskin. Here's the chance to set up now. Turned aside with a glove. Toronto's got the puck in the defensive end. Can't find his man. Down the right wing and into the offensive zone. Fires it. Comes up with a monster save in front. That's in a dangerous spot. He makes a good save here. Handles the puck. Here they go. Three on one. And that's poked away by Matthews. Long lead pass to Marner. Unable to reach that one. Oh, we'll get some tired defenders as icing is the call. Play ready to resume as everybody lines in for the faceoff. Colorado's won the draw. Hammers it on net. Standing tall with the save. The Leafs have it now. Tosses it to Marner. Puck scooped up by Johns. The Leafs played along the boards. Hammers a shot. Big save by the goaltender watching that one. The Stars are on the schedule for the next day here. Yeah, it's fine for us to look ahead, but you really can't do that. You still got to finish the job at hand. Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Taken along the wall by Gostas Bear. Now he slides it up to Voracek. The Leafs take possession in the defensive end. And the fans on their feet recognizing a solid victory here in front of them. Final horn sounds bringing this one to a close. Coming into this game, this team was really confident. So to suspect another win probably wasn't a stretch for them. They extend the streak. Well, the way they're playing, it looks like that streak's not going to show an end anytime soon. And they'll come out and salute the fans after the win. Just the way it should be. You win, you salute the fans, the fans get the same thanks. I love it.